Hello, I'm Maximo Trinidad Technology Evangelist for Sapient Technologies, Inc. In this instructional video, we're looking at how to include and deploy a PowerShell custom module in a GUI application with PowerShell Studio. In PowerShell Studio, to add a PowerShell custom module to a new or an existing form project, we need to first create a folder that will contain the module files. After opening the form project, go to the project pane, right click on the project solution and select add new folder. Then go back and rename the new folder to the name of the module you're going to use. Now I can add the PowerShell custom module files to the folder I created in the project solution. I right click on the folder, select add existing file, then look for the two module files, the PSD1 and the PSM1. After adding the module files, go back and select the PSM1 file and go to the properties pane of the file, change the shared property value from false to true. Now, all functions in the custom module becomes available to all forms in the project. To speed things up, I'm going to open an existing project with the added custom module code. In this project, I've added the import module command in the drawable.ps1 script file. Notice the function hello today was also included. Then in the import module command, I include the script directory variable. This variable provides the path to where the custom module is located in the project. Keep in mind the script directory function and variables are already included in the form template. At this point, I add the code using some of the commands from the custom module and the global.ps1 script file. In the main form script tab, I use the following functions. Hello today, get who am I, and show help about PowerShell topic. These functions will be used to populate the form rich text box and labels area. The main form has four buttons, list commandlet, shows topics, array, and sim system. The list commandlet button will list all commands from the custom module. The show topics button will display a list of PowerShell about topics to choose to view. The array button lists elements from an array variable. And the sim system button opens the sim system form. This sample project uses both the hello today and the get who am I functions globally between the 16 forms. I need to make sure my GUI application works by running the project in PowerShell Studio. Now I can work in packaging my GUI application and create the MSI installer file that will be used for deployment. For this, I use the script packager tool, which is included in both PowerShell Studio and Primal Script. To open, just go to the deploy ribbon menu and click on the packager setting option. In the script packager, I enter all the necessary settings in the packager task pane. Now I need to click on build package. Then I fill the settings in the installer task pane, paying attention to the file folder section. The files created from the build package, the executable and the config file will be added here.
here is where I add the custom module folder, which will be included with executable in the MSI installer. After completing entering the rest of the file folder settings, then I proceed to click on the Build MSI button to create the MSI installer executable. Let's go ahead and install the GUI application. Look in the folder where the MSI installer executable was created. Double click on the file to start the installation. After the installation, the application can be found listed under the program panel, programs and features section. Now, let's find where the custom module was installed. As you can see, the custom module will be included with the application installation folder on the program files. Keep in mind, only your application have access to this module and not your local system PowerShell. The installed custom module is not added to the PowerShell PS module pack. As you can see, you can add PowerShell custom modules in the project form solution and deploy it with the GUI application executable. I can run the application from Windows start menu and everything works. This is the end of this instructional video. Feel free to check our 16 videos in our Sapien Technologies YouTube channel. For more information on our product, don't forget to visit our Sapien Technologies site at sapiens.com. Thank you very much. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Sapien Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.